Hello, my name is Harrison, and here we are at Olson Spine Foods, and here we have Rosa. And right here is our fromage de mayo. Today we'll be talking about very, very creamy cheeses. Freeze. Freeze, pretty much, yeah. And this is the fromage, dog, uh, fromage de mayo. So, this is the epitome of creamy, creamy and Yeah. In a giant wheel. Yes. And it is an absolutely fantastic cheese. Very, very soft. Put it with some cherries, maybe on a sandwich, put it, you know, a couple of interesting flavors. It is very mild, though. And so, you know, anyone is going to like this cheese. Yeah, Reese most popular with, like, big spread yeah. or big jam or nuts. Oh, it's great there. And next, we have Rubiola. Now, this is a three milk cheese, extraordinarily creamy. And, uh, like, how fluffy. It's like fluffy. Yeah, yeah it's very, like, how would you describe it? You know, not just fluffy, but, you know, the flavors. A little tangy, complex in flavors, and it's got the three milk. It also comes in a two milk. Very, um, very soft. Yeah. This will melt, you know, within a minute. When it's going to start to. Yeah. The Swanson Brothers do a good job. Next, we have the Saint Andre. Now, this is a, a little bit different style, you know. It is still very soft, but it has the two layers now. Yeah, it has like the creamy outside and the more crumbly, sturdier, sturdier yeah. middle. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so melty in the middle. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, as you know, time progresses. If you leave this out, the whole thing will start to get very gooey, gooey. Yeah, the Saint Andre is more mass produced, so it's more mm -hmm. popular. A lot of people ask for it, and then there's Saint Angel, which is very much like Saint Andre, just creamier and a different yeah. shape. Yeah, it's in a box instead. So. Next, we have the Delice de Bourgogne. I just call it Delice because I can't say the second word. It is my favorite of the softer cheeses. It's it tastes like French butter. It is it is like butter. You can like lather this on something. Incredibly soft. It will melt incredibly quickly. You've just taken out, and already you can see you have the softer layer on the outside. This is really nice because it's very soft and creamy, but then it has a nice kick to it. It does. It, um, it's more flavorful than a regular brie. Yes. A little bit saltier, so you will get a little thirsty with it. Um, but you can s I could sit down and probably eat. Oh. I waited in. This is fantastic. Good. And then last, but definitely not least, we have Camembert. Now, everybody knows Camembert. Yeah. Why don't you talk about it a little bit? It's a bit stronger flavored uh, brie. Some of them um, you can really smell right when you take off the lid. It always comes in a round of its very, own normally. Very um, very, very soft. It'll kind of run away. Um, best served at room temperature. That's when the flavors really come out. And you can, um, it's not for the beginner free eater. No. But, Breeze, though, are very, very friendly cheese, and we encourage you to try them. Because, really, even kids will just absolutely love Breeze. And so simple. We so. always, I always encourage people to eat the rind. The rind yes. is good. Unless you have allergies to the rind, then I would say don't eat that. Yeah. But, <laughs> Um, eat the rind, it's good. It's one of the few cheeses that you can eat the rind. It's, it's got the flavor and it, it helps get it the vehicle to your mouth. Yes. Okay, well, thank you for joining us this week. Thank you for tuning in to Olsen's Fine Foods. Bye.